Hey guys, what is up? Ken here, and I got some stuff to talk to you about. Oh yeah, let's get this started now. Alright, so, it's 8.20. Oh. Oh, the, the time's not right. That's my iPod. Actually, don't know what time it is. Um, here I'm gonna try to fix the time. Maybe I can figure it out. But uh, it's. I know it's late. <laughs> Thing got me worried. If it was eight o'clock, I would run downstairs and play video games. But um, I might as well talk to you guys on what happened today. So let's go. Um. Oh! Is that automatically? Okay. Ooh, I got a text. Um, so it basically started out like this. I got out of school. And... I went home to... And actually, I went to guitar class, and then after that I went over and I met up with Miguel and Kevin and after that I thought we were just gonna film Jailbroken but turned out that Miguel um that we could film Jailbroken today but Miguel said he would rather finish the whole things saying it was his series or whatever gave me a headache just by listening to that but um yeah he said um he didn't want to do it today he would rather have it um the whole thing done here's the reason why he gave me a headache he was wearing the clothes he had to wear for the film today, right? So, I mean, like, regardless, if you want to film at another time, you gotta wear the same clothes, so it would have only made sense if you, you know, did it. Like, if you just took the scenes you could. But then again, it's just him. He gave me all this stuff about his series or whatever, really enforcing it. So, um, I can't really argue, unfortunately, I, I'm just gonna drop it right there. After that, um, Miguel's, uh, Miguel asked if he wanted me to go parkour with him, but for, and for two reasons I said no. Reason number one, Kevin was with me, and he's not a parkourist, he does not like parkouring, so I couldn't just really ditch him. Number two. I retired hardcore parkour, and that is exactly what he was going to do, so I said no. My style. I'm actually planning to release a video tomorrow on why I retired parkour, but that is if I feel comfortable with the topic, because Miguel and Nico have been barging on my door, um, a figure of speech, trying to make me tell them why, and it's really getting annoying, and if this is the case, I'm not gonna tell. Uh, what else? Also, Modem Studio got a budget now. We got $60 in cash. Um, and I'm, I'm either gonna do this, these two things. Number one, I am going to go buy um, Gmod, Half-Life, and all these other games I really wanted to get for PC. So I can hang out with Kevin, Quinn, and all my other friends, including Joey, the writer for Citizens Crisis, on PC. Because I'm more of a PC gamer. I don't really care about consoles. But, um, here's the deal. If a Miss Second Son came out for PS4, and... Uh, I got more attention. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I am looking at Infamous. It does look like a really good game, and um, but that's not the reason why I would get a PS4. All right, it's never been that. The reason why I want a PS4 in the first place is because Watch Dogs is coming out in May. Not to mention, The Last of Us is making the jump to next gen, and I want to get Last of Us. But if, you know, 
If it's going to be on next gen, why get it for PS3? Then again, how would I play online? Is it is the PlayStation Network, you know, are you, say you got a game for PS4 and a friend of yours has the same game for PS3. Can those two play with each other? I don't know. Uh, if you guys know that and answer to the question, comment below because I don't know. Um, I know for Xbox, you can. Um, you can, like, talk to them, but overall, you can't play. Hmm. They should do something like that. I don't know. Um, anyway, after that, me and Kevin were talking over Skype, because Kevin went home, and, um, me and him were really having a ball that day. Um, we were talking about Last of Us, we were talking about all these other cool things, and it was amazing. I want to do stuff like that again. I love it, and I would really like to do it. Um... But me and Kevin really had a ball today. And uh, he said that um, I asked him if he's willing to film tomorrow. And he said, yeah. So he's definitely confirmed to come back to film tomorrow. But here's the bigger deal. Kevin, you're equally as awesome. But this one just tipped you over just a little bit because it's rare. And that is that the Swag and Dragon, yeah, remember him? He contacted me literally like an hour ago. And me and him were just like talking back and forth over text message. And uh, basically I asked him like um, all these questions like, how do you do his intros, blah, blah, blah. I don't know exactly what I asked. I wish I took a screenshot, sent it to my iPod and t told you guys what he said. But, um... I did tell him the story of Citizens Crisis Part 2, and he said, yeah. Not only that, but he said his crew, his crew would be willing to help out and be rebels. And I was like saying, sure, yeah, <laughs> let's do that. So this is going to be literally the biggest shoot in Modium Studios history. Because we never had this many people at once working on one video. Last time I recall that we did something like that is Citizens Crisis Part 1. <laughs> no, no, I actually don't know. All I know is that this will be the most casted because here's the cast so far. We already shot Jaden's scene, scenes and we can easily replace him right now, but... I really like him to return, so if possible, we would try to fit him in, but if he cannot, fine by me, we'll just move on with the project. Um, because we got all these other rebels. But Nico is definitely going to be confirmed to be a character in the show. Or, um, video, because we're not making any more parts after this video. It it's definitely coming out on Saturday, so we're going to film on Friday, release it on Saturday. Sorry about the four-week delay. You can thank the following for that. Jaden, Miguel, Nico, you know what, just blame me. Anything they do, it really evolves around me, so blame me. And if you, And just remember, I was just doing that as a joke. So if you guys didn't um actually make it um actually fool around with the project and took it seriously, I sincerely apologize for the names I said by accident. But um yeah. So the swag and dragon's actually gonna be in the shoot. Um hopefully tomorrow. I say hopefully because I don't know. It's not confirmed nor denied, but it's most likely gonna happen and I really hope it happens. Oh, Um, hey, Swaggin. Uh, actually, I should stop calling you that. He's now called the beast inside of me. Um, check him out. Link will be in the description. But, uh, 
Actually, me and him are working on a bunch of other projects together besides this one. This is just like, uh, this is just, um, for me, it's going to be like a little test to see how we all can work together. And the project's going to happen regardless if we get along or not, if they show up. But if we get along, we'll definitely do more projects together. If not, uh, we'll forget it never happened, but the video will be released, hopefully. Uh, oh, also, I finished Nico's outro, <laughs> and trust me, this thing is amazing. The, I guess I might spoil one thing since I edited it, and that's basically going to be the name of the music, so if you guys don't want to hear that, skip ahead 10 seconds of this video right now. Okay, so the music I use was the Avengers theme song. And oh my god, it's awesome. Just the way it works. I can't believe it. Alright, glad you guys stuck away from that spoilers. But if you guys feel like you want to see the spoilers, go back at the 11 minute mark. Alright, so what else? Um, Swag, um, I already talked about Swag and Dragon. Um, as you know, he did release a video about like this website he's working on and two other projects and I can um I can't confirm one because it's his and I not gonna do that. But I will confirm another. And because he said he said specifically th that he is helping out with this project, hopefully. Like whenever it gets time. That project is Da, 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 da. Project Task Report 2. We've been working on it for months. I really hope you guys like it. Now, if you guys think that Citizen Crisis is going to be the biggest issue, wait till PC. Now, here's the thing. I'm really hoping I can sign them on for not only PC Part 2, but PC Part 3. It's two movies, so if everything works out, I really hope I can sign them on for that. Um, as you know, we're doing the Bolivians, and I want to get this project done, because I love it, I want to do it, and it's just like, I've been shot down so many times, I want to finish it. I've just realized on the right of me, there are actually some props that we are working out to put in movies, and I can't even show you it, but, uh... I might as well let you hear the sound of how it sounds like when I hit it against my hand. Oh, you just saw a little frame of it leak. Okay, here we go. That little frame was a bonus. What? Alright, now I'm going to be talking about Jaden. Because I talked about Miguel Swaggin. Beast inside of me. I'm, I'm sorry if you're watching this. Um, Beast inside of me. It's just like you change your name and it's just going to take a little bit of time for me to get used to calling you the beast inside of me. So if I do call you the Swag and Dragon a couple times, I sincerely apologize. But, uh, yeah, I'm talking about Jaden now. Because I already talked about Nico, Jaden. Actually, I'm going to jump to Nico real quick. We did do this parkour episode. You guys are going to like it. Um... I'm just going to say it's parkour, but I'm not going to say where it is. You guys are going to see a trailer for that April 12th. Do you think I could try to convince Swag and Dragon to release its trailer for, you know, um, his thing on April 12th on the Modium Podcast Live? It would be so amazing. It would be so amazing, man. <sighs> it would be pretty awesome. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now jumping to Jaden. And I'm going to make a different video entirely, just talking about Jaden. Um, because I only got 30 seconds left. Um, but Jaden, he's been kind of quiet lately, but um, a lot has really happened with him. For number one, I did, um, as you know, as you didn't know, Miguel had his bike, and Miguel didn't want to return it to him, so I ended up doing it. Not to mention about this whole retiring YouTube thing. It's really a pain. All right. Part 2 coming soon.